these problems are looking at doing operations on uh, things that are either in scientific notation or near scientific notation. And the bottom line is we want to put them in scientific notation. So we always want to keep that in the back of our mind. So on this first one, now notice this isn't a FOIL problem. Uh, it's easy to get that confused because these are multiplication and not plus. So all we have to do is multiply the non powers of 10 together, the 13 times 15, which when you multiply 13 times 15, you get 195. And then the powers of 10 together. Well, 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth, you add exponents. Multiply with the same base means add exponents. So it's 10 to the seventh. Now we have to convert this to a uh, scientific notation. So we're going to move 1, 2 to the left. So that gives us 1.95 times 10. And you add 2 to it, so it becomes 10 to the ninth. And that's your answer, 1.95 times 10 to the ninth. 20 times 12 is 240. Same thing here. Multiply the non uh, powers of 10 together, so you got 240 times 10, and this time it's to the negative 7th, because it's 10 to the negative 4th, 10 to the negative 3rd. Again, we're moving ours 2 to the left, 1, 2, so that gives us 2.4, but since we move to the left, you always remember, move the decimal to the left, you add 2. So 2.4 times 10 to the negative 5th, and that's your answer. Now on three, you basically are doing two simplifying problems. You're simplifying the non powers of 10, then you're going to simplify the powers of 10. So we've got to see what can we do with 9 divided by 1.8. Well, we don't, we can't, this isn't, this isn't a simplifying a fraction problem. This is, we need a decimal. So it's actually 1.8 into 9. Well, if you divide 1.8 into 9, right? Well, we move the decimal one over, so it becomes 18 into 90, and some of you may know that 18 times 5 gives you 90. So it's actually 5 is what you're left with. And then we do our subtraction, which is subtract the de uh, exponent of the denominator from the numerator, which would be 7 minus 3, so it becomes 5 times 10 to the fourth. Same thing on number 4 here. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And then we've got times... 10, and we're doing subtraction, so negative 6 minus 2 is 10 to the negative 8. However, this is not your correct answer. Some of you might have left the answer here, and you've been right in that it's the same thing, they're equivalent, but it's not the best answer because we want the answer in scientific notation. So we actually need to move this decimal place 1 to give us 1.8, and since I moved to the left, I'm adding 1, so it's times 10 to the negative 7th. Okay, and then number five is basically a com combination of those two problems that we just, just did, or the four problems we've done. So we do the top first, so three times two gives you six. Ten to the fifth times ten to the fourth is ten to the ninth, and that's still over 1.2 times ten to the negative third. Six divided by 1.2 is the same as 12 divided by 60, or 60 divided by 12, which is five again. So this equals five times, and then you remember, you subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator, so not 9 minus a negative 3, which becomes plus plus, so it becomes 10 to the 12th. So it becomes 5 times 10 to the 12th. So your answer is 5 times 10 to the 12th. And all we're doing on these problems is going through and applying all those exponent rules that we did before.